Hey everyone, welcome. Welcome to the Gypsy Monday Night Tarot. Um, tonight we'll be doing readings for all signs from Aries to Pisces and um, we'll be picking up um, seven tiles yeah, per sign and um, let's see what do we have for you guys. For those of you who are joining me live, thank you once again, and um, thank you for your continued support. All right, so tonight we'll just um, take it easy. Let's see the messages. Let's hear the messages for each of the sign. All right, so with this uh, reading, and since I'll be doing um, several signs, I'll be using this card to identify which sign I am currently reading on. So to start with, you will be doing Aries. All right. So let's see, what messages do we have for Aries? All right, Aries, what do we have for you here? All right, so Aries, um, wow, you're starting fresh, starting new. It is as if you have um, embodied that very strong um, stance, Aries, where even if you want to do something, but you always think first before doing a certain something, yeah, certain thing, basically. In terms of... Um, this connection, Aries, I see that you are, well, you are healing. You are, there's a process here that you are undergoing. This could be you understanding, you know, the situation without having to be very um, aggressive in attacking a problem or aggressive in, in starting or initiating something. It's more like you being comfortable with yourself, yeah? And um, perhaps even just being receptive to the energies around you. But you are not in the action-oriented kind of thing. You're, you're letting things happen as they should be on a day-to-day -day basis. And I feel that that is how you, you kind of appear to this person as well. Yeah, there are a lot of things that are changing. And um, I think the best, you're doing the very uh, conservative approach here. Primarily because this person seemed to be, um, it seems like you're dealing with someone who has their shit together, but at the same time, um, is someone who seemed to be very, uh, let's just say flaky, you know, or or someone who, who doesn't seem to be grounded, you know, in, in one commitment or something like that, or... For the most part, this is just someone undergoing a lot of changes in their life. You know, it could be a change in the in their job, change in their circumstances and all. And um, their main focus could, could be more on their own stability, on themselves, on what makes them grounded. Like I said, because there seemed to be this floaty kind of energy on this person. And this person also recognizes that they need to have some grounding. Yeah, they need to have some grounding. On your side, though, you're approaching this in a very calm manner. You are approaching this in a sense that, well, if there is a need to talk, you will talk. If there is um, nothing much on your side that tells me that you are initiating to do something. But on the other hand, in terms of your connection with this particular person this is you now um not taking any more uh extension of your thresholds it's more like you you know you have this ace of swords it's more like you now knowing your truth and then accepting only the truth for this connection if there are any bs coming from someone you're not gonna take it you'll probably just ignore it yeah Especially if you're dealing with someone, Aries, who may not be very decisive on for you, not very decisive on this connection. Um, I feel that you will just um, kind of brush it off or ignore it because it's not worth your time. That, that's what I'm getting. 
for some of you you would even cut that person off yeah um and then uh i do see that um in the immediate future there is that sense of um someone putting in an effort to balance things out here so whoever either you aries or the person that you're dealing with whoever is um doing more of you know just the talking but less action that person will do more or will do more of the action this time meaning that whatever they are saying they will back it up with action that's what i see there seem to be some positive changes and the, that's um you're, you're something that you will be expecting yeah because from not from being flaky to now somebody who wants to um somebody who wants to reciprocate wants to give back yeah but the advice here for you aries is to, to look at things um of course from from your compassionate side but at the same time uh logically yeah and be able to determine um whether the intention of the other party to you whether is that real is that authentic is that true for you yeah there needs to be that discernment on your side and um also maintain healthy boundaries yeah as once this person comes back you don't really know um their main intention until you open up to one another right but the advice here for you is to be able to maintain healthy boundaries for whatever discussion that would take place okay so that is for aries now moving on to taurus All right, well, another Ace of Swords here. It's been coming back. All right, Taurus. Um, wow. Okay, I think this is a very straightforward reading for you, Taurus. It appears like... Um, there is someone whom you have um, really caught by the neck. <laughs> Possibly you had had a um, conversation, honest to goodness kind of conversation. You tell that person what you want to happen, what you expect to happen. Yeah, and um, I feel that you also got your response. What you are, um, you know, what clarif clarification do you need? And I feel that um, you got that too yeah so two things here it's either after that conversation you may have cut off this person finally or this is you um agreeing to start things off to do a reset of whatever type of connection you have with this person um given the explanation that has been talked about and perhaps forgiveness is already in but there is this sense of starting fresh yeah so it could be you starting fresh without this person and finally blocking them off and cutting them off of your life or very well so this could be you agreeing to the um to the uh reset of a connection but this time with a reset you want that um there's no more much dependency you know whatever that means it could be I think there's some sort of discussion about thresholds here or some sort of uh, discussion relating to um, w what are you willing to commit, uh, to what, what extent are you willing to give, you know, the threshold, your max. And I feel that you have explicitly told this person up to where you can go, yeah, whether it be giving or receiving financial support whether it be giving or receiving emotional um uh link yeah or support for one another uh but you are pretty um stern with this decision of yours it seems like you're very clear yeah it's either this or that or not yeah it's either this or not at all there's no gray area on your side right now 
With regards to your person though, there is a lot of murky area. It feels like um, they may be feeling um, something deep. It could be f um, that they are disappointed by your decision or disappointed as to how things have happened and all that, but they are not speaking about it. They are not letting you know about it. Yeah, for the most part, they this person would probably just take in whatever you have told them, whatever you have mentioned, and then like putting it back to the universe and say, okay, if that's what you want, that's what you get for now. I'm not going to do anything. That's what um, this person's um, point of view, at least for now. And let things happen, you know, basically. It's more like somebody waiting for things to happen. If, if there are some changes, then so be it. If not, then this is what you've got. It's, um, there's some sort of lack of care now in terms of where this connection is going yeah from this person yeah primarily primarily because i feel that they would probably have been hurt or disappointed after whatever conversation you've had yeah they may feel like you know they didn't they they weren't heard that's what i'm i'm getting here now in terms of really connecting with your taurus this is someone who is um who wants forgiveness or who wants to apologize yeah and um, with that they also want to choose the route to go with you this is someone who still wants to be with you yeah who wants to choose that path of um, being with you but of course not to the extent that um, they will have to chase you yeah in fact they would want to have a a route towards you um, without having to reset from ground zero, but rather start where you left off. That's what I'm getting from this person, yeah. While you, on the other hand, it feels like there is some sort of you wanting to have a ground zero clean reset, yeah. The way I see it here is that um, there is still that chance to have this uh, renewal or something, but more about um, a decision that has to be made either by you or by your person so the opportunity is there to have a you know to have another round another try for this connection but it is contingent to the decision of someone yeah and i feel it's on your side taurus you may be the one to make a decision whether you still want to give this a try or just finally cut things things off that's what i see here yeah but there's one more. And after that, kalas. You're off from each other. Yeah? Off the karmic. The, all, all off the cycle. All right. That's for Taurus. Now, let's move on. And um, let's do Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini, let's see, what do we have for you? Mm. Okay, so, um, all right, Gemini, <laughs> this is another kind of straightforward reading. Um, I feel that um, you probably are collaborating with this person that you want or you like or you desire. Yeah, you're giving this new opportunity. You're opening, perhaps, with this person. For some of you, this could be like you are already working together in some material aspect of things, like um, a project, um, a job, a, um, or a startup, you know, or some creative stuff that gets you money back. Okay, so there seem to be um, this opportunity that you are handing over, opening it up to someone. But on the other hand, it's just an opportunity and um, you're kind of waiting to see whether this person is able to use it the right way. Whether this person is able to take in that opportunity and deal with you the right way. That's what I'm getting. And why do we say the right way? 
because even if you're opening up that opportunity for this person, Gemini, I do feel that you may still be thinking hard whether, you know, is it worthy to trust this person once again? It feels like this person has done something to mar your trust, yeah? And um, the opportunity is open for them, yeah? And I feel that that is your, that, that is you giving them the chance to gain your trust once again. Now, with regards to the person that you're dealing with, um, likely so, this is someone who at some point in time was hurt or felt betrayed in this connection. Likely so, this is someone who was hardly beaten by some um, circumstance in their life, whether it be with you or um, and their personal life. For some, you know, this could be someone who has been depressed for quite a while and um, somebody who may have also spent a lot of time introspection going with them, somebody who probably have been hermiting to, yeah? But there's some um, strong energy of, of solitary, yeah? Because there was a need for this person to heal or there was a need for this person to be more gentle and kind to themselves. Mm -hmm. And um, therefore, even if you both have this opportunity between the two of you to progress in this connection, you see that this person is not very actively initiating. Mm -hmm. But mind you, that even though they are not initiating, they know that you have this opportunity open for them, yeah? And they are very much waiting for the chance, yeah? A good chance to come back their way, yeah? Possibly a chance from you. It may appear that, you know, they are no longer interested. This person may appear like they are not invested anymore in this connection. But mind you, you're dealing with someone too who is pretty much of a thinker. They know that they have put in something in this connection. They have planted, yeah? In your heart, in your mind, this person has planted something and they know that, yeah? And the fact that you are opening up this opportunity for them, very well they know that a part of you is still wanting something from this connection. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, Although that is a known fact for this person, it feels like um, for now, they may just take the, the, the slower or the, the path of least resistance, basically. And um, just waiting for what comes their way and see whether it's good, they will take it. If not, they will not push it. Yeah, but more so, um, there are things that this person would also need to understand fully for themselves. It could be, you know, the dynamic between the two of you. This person is, is really trying to understand, is this the dynamic that they want to, to go for? Is this the type of dynamic in a connection that um, they can sustain? Mm -hmm. And I do feel, I do feel that um, with this introspective approach that this person is doing, it would actually lead to some form of um, improvement in, in the way you deal with one another that you could see um, in the immediate future that things will progress in a better way, in a, in a calmer way, in that things are going to get better, at least for you, and um, at least for this connection as well. What, whatever better means to you in this connection, okay? And um, I think, Gemini, the advice here for you is just, um, you know, you're, you're opening up that opportunity and um, be clear with your decisions, be clear with your actions and let it be known to this person, okay, what your intentions are and see whether they are able to understand and comprehend and um, reciprocate back to you because that's the only way that this person could actually gain back your trust. And I feel that this is... Um, what we're dealing here right now, the mistrust, yeah? You don't trust this connection anymore, but still a part of you is still wanting it. So in order to get this person back, to um, to get them to trust, uh, to, to gain your trust once again, to let them, you know, they, they want it. They want to be back in your good graces, but for now, 
this is a person who is approaching things with um, with least resistance. So that's what I, I feel. Yeah. So you can't really expect a lot of action the way you want it to be. But there could be um, receptiveness and um, reciprocal kind of interaction, at least in the beginning. And things will move, um, will, will get better yeah, in your communication, the things when you open up slowly but surely. And then soon enough, you'll find yourself moving forward in a direction that you both would agree on. That's what I see here. Okay. But the trust is something that needs to be addressed. All right, so um, next, Cancer. Okay, what do we have for Cancer? Wow, three, four, five. Okay, let's take eight. All right, Cancer, what do we have for you here? Okay, and so, um, mm -hmm. okay, so, um, Cancer, I feel that this is something related to, it's coming up here, conflict. Something that is related to, I think, um, in your past readings, you can check in my channel for Cancer um, Weekly Love Connections, I feel, or the October uh, month read. But this is relating to a connection where you have been in conflict with someone. It feels like it's it's been a cycle going on that um, possibly you will fight and then patch up and fight and patch up once again. But there's something that you couldn't agree on, Yeah. And it feels like you've been talking about it. You tried to find common grounds, but um, there's just something amiss. It could be that even after the explanation, after getting into some sort of compromise, one of you is still not comfortable with that compromise. And that's the reason why it keeps on repeating. You know, it's a repeat all the time. And... For you, Cancer, I could feel that you do love this person. You know that um, there is this strong, deep connection you feel towards them. But it feels like with constant prying or constant um, fights or this cycle that keeps on repeating, it's no longer fun. And um, for you, you don't think that you could carry on with this type of approach or with this type of dynamic in the long run. So there is that likelihood that you might just give up once you're very tired overthinking or stressing about this, probably you will just give up because the, the sometimes it could even be very petty, the, the fight that you are do, you're having with this person, but yeah. Now, on the other hand, like I said, this is some general reading, so you might, um, you pick your side, okay? Now, on your... On the other person, I feel that um, this is someone who knows that you have conflict um, and who wants to fix it, but at the same time, they actually don't really know how to survive this. Um, they may appear, um, so to speak, as stubborn or or that they have a call on, on this discussion, or that they want you to follow them and things like that. But deep inside, this is someone who, who does follow your lead. Yeah. And every time they don't get what they want from an argument, they feel um, a sense of insecurity mm -hmm. that would allow or let this person withdraw. Yeah, we draw and not give more. Yeah, it's it's them feeling as though that's the safest um, position or ground they could be in by withdrawing. There's also this passive aggressiveness kind of behavior. Yeah, from this person. Mm -hmm. 
yeah but anyway I, I feel that as of this moment this is in between in in between or in the middle of that conflict i feel the both of you right now may not even be talking to one another but your person your person is very um attracted to you cancer in terms of um possibly even you know physical attributes and um seeing your drive your motivation in life as well as your you know sexually they're very attracted to you and um this person sees you as like a princess or a queen you have the queen of wands here yeah they this is someone who has put you on a pedestal basically and that's the probably the reason why whenever you have a fight and they they can sense that they are not getting what they want or what they need all the more they would feel insecure yeah because that means you are not saying yes to them yeah and i feel that um in the immediate future there could be this sense of just a bit of indifference towards one another that's what i see the fight would still continue i don't really see um much of um, improvement in, in finding another compromise between the two of you but I feel that the fight would still continue the indifference towards one another or you probably would stop talking to one another at least for the time being um, yeah but on the other hand there could still be communication little communication here and there especially if you have um, common uh, responsibilities together you know, if you share a house, you have kids, you have all this, you have pets together and things like that. Those things um, could actually um, allow both of you to talk. Yeah. But nothing related to this fight. I think there's still that undercurrent that fight would still <laughs> would still be there, at least for, for this week. All right, Cancer. I'm sorry for that message, but that's what I see. All right, and um, next is Leo. All right, Leo. Wow. Oh. This is good, Leo. Um, now you've had it all. <laughs> you've um, you've been there, done that kind of energy, and um, I feel that you have finished um, a cycle of highs and lows, and um, even getting over with something. And this is you now, really wanting to make that decision, confirm you know, put an ink to it or something. There's something here that you're you're starting. Yeah. It could be a reconciliation, a rebirth of a long lost connection. And I feel that you really want to start. You wanna to, want to communicate. Yeah. This is generally you really wanting this. Yeah. You have decided. Yeah. You have made a decision to start something new. Something new or it could be a reconciliation with someone. It's a decision that you want to start on You're no longer at that waiting evaluating stage um, The person that you're dealing with mm. Leo this could be somebody I don't like to talk about the third party, but I feel that this is someone who could have another um, responsibility, entanglements relating to a family or in a general sense, I am getting that this is someone who is in a third party situation. Mm -hmm. They may appear to you that they are good, they are stable, they are okay to be with you, they want long term with you, but there is this sense, there is this sense that this person do have another connection. another partnership mm -hmm. it could even be with a married person so it's more than three yeah anyway that is causing you know um a depressive state of the heart <laughs> yeah it's a depressive state of the heart it's like you overused it and um, they overuse it in this situation because it feels like for you 
you're pretty clear with what you want. So if you've communicated with this person, it's easy for them to tell you, yes, I'm on board or no, I'm not because I have someone else. But in this case, you are dealing with someone who is in a complicated web sort of thing. So this also is telling that maybe you can confirm this, Leo, that maybe you are cutting this person out of your life. Yeah, and you've made the final decision. Finally, you've listened to the trumpet and you're finally cutting this person out. Yeah, because this is something, whatever this situation that um, that this person is involved in, not just on the third party, but also the stubbornness, you know, the inconsistency that they are giving, that they are showing you, it is something that you are not really willing to um, wait on. You know, because if it's meant for you, it would have been given, yeah, when you were open for it. I feel that this is your energy right now. Now, with that, if you truly have cut off this person, I feel that um, they might want to come back and, uh, you know, try to give you a little bit of here and there. Um, but I do sense, Leo, that it is still breadcrumbing. They would probably give you a little highs, hellos, um, like quickies and all, just to keep the peace. But still, they would continue with what they do in, in the other side, something like that. So, and it's primarily because this person is pretty sad in their life and um, perhaps there's some enjoyment there or some satisfaction they could get if they do several or if they deal with this other connection that they have yeah so but on your side in your side in a general sense this right here you pretty know you pretty well know where you stand and what the situation means to you and what are you supposed to do with the situation you already know that it's more like this is just uncovering the the um the spices of it and I feel that in the immediate future, you will be focusing more on your stability, on your money, on your house, on your, what are you going to do in the next six months, in the next two years, in the next five years? This is you now planning ahead, yeah? And deciding, starting a new phase that you feel is the most comfortable for you, yeah? And would give you that stability that you want. And you know what? And new love can come in. Yeah, the moment you cut out this person, this new um, partnership would come in. And again, this is a partnership who could see you eye to eye, who could be on the same page with you. And again, who could also be another soulmate and somebody who would give you another set of ups and downs. But at some point, it may be worth taking because that's where we grow, right? With, with the pains, with the problems, the challenges that you take in. That's where we grow. But again, another soulmate would come in. Yeah, another partner that you would likely enjoy. Okay, Leo. That's a new love for you. Moving on to Virgo. Right, Virgo, let's do your reading. All right, Virgo. Wow. So there is this ending, huh? <laughs> First card out. Um, there seem to be, you know, a cycle is done. Yeah. It can't go any worse than where you've been. You know, if there was betrayal hard, dark nights and, and um, difficult days. You, f you felt backstabbed by someone that you hold dear. That's over and done. Mm -hmm. That's over and done. Although the pain is still there, although a part of you could s still feel a little bitter about the situation, you also know that things are done. Yeah, it's it's over. And um
And I feel that you are currently um, proceeding with your life in the sense of going for what you think is best for you. Yeah. You're now operating from your brain, from your logical side, rather than emotional um, approach for things. Yeah. So you always think first, what is good for you? What is best for you? Is this the right thing to do? When you see, when you um, confirm that, that's when you follow up with your action. But it's always that what you think is good, yeah, or what's the right thing to do. With regards to your person, um, this ending could also have hit them, could also have hurt them, and I feel that they are kind of resting right now. There's this is someone who is not very um, active as well in their life. Um, not active even in approaching you or in, in um, dealing with you. But it's more like uh, resting and recovery mode. Mm -hmm. But Virgo, I must say that this person is still very much um, entangled with you. Still very much attached to you. Whether they, you know that or not. Yeah, They're still thinking a lot. Obsessing probably. Um... And on the other hand, I do feel that there is a part of this person where their attitude, their actions, or the lack of it could also be driven by the fact that their motivation is fluctuating, their drive for life is fluctuating. Why? They could have some negative attachments to drugs, to habits, and, and things like that. And even this phase of rest and recovery this could likely be because of, of the substance that they have taken and um, just, you know, like calming the entire self down and um, not really um, fully functioning, not really functioning to their full um, potential or capacity on a day-to-day -day basis because there's something in there, in this person's um, could be habits, I feel, that is causing them to not really... Um, become a go-getter that they are supposed to do or they are supposed to be in this case yeah because I see that this uh, this is a person who could be hard working to who who knows how to plan um, but it's always always about planning it's always about planning but there's lack of action it's always about words but lack of action they have a lot of ideas but lack of action anyway I think you already know that yeah but yeah, one thing is they are still stuck in this situation um, and not just with you in this situation, but I feel that overall in their, within their vicinity, there seem to be some, some negative vibes around this person that is causing this person to even feel that dark nights for them. Now, um, like I said, they're still onto you. They still keep tabs on you. And um, they are not um, offering you anything right now, although they are thinking, they are planning, yeah? And um, they are hoping to find the right way to do it. They are hoping to, to find the right words to say, the right way to do it, yeah? And that's why probably they need to step back and see things from different perspective and see whether... I don't see the hangman position, but these three cards combined... It feels like hangman position for me, for this person. And um, yeah, there's, very, there's that sense of just stepping back and looking at things, trying to see if there's another perspective that would come out. Yeah. Hopefully this person is not just hallucinating things, right? So it's more like they are really thinking and, and, and doing and, and thinking about coming up with what is the next best thing to do? Now, um, in the immediate future, you still can feel this connection. This connection is still exists. It's true. It's real for both of you. And even if things may have ended, there may have been betrayal and all cycle has ended. You may have fought, argued um, harshly or something like that. The connection is still real. You still both love one another. And I feel that there is that sense of I mean, don't lose that optimism that um, things can be brighter once again. You have the lovers and the sun side by side. So there is love here and and 
there is that potential for a better outcome in the long run. You may, you may not see it now, but once the sun comes out, the sun is the happiest card of the tarot, and it brings about positivity. It brings about um, openness. Things that were hidden in the, um, at the dark, in the dark, they will come to light. Yeah, And things can be brighter. And you will be able to decide better once you hit the sun position. Yeah, because things are clear. It's all out on the table. You have all your facts and only then you can decide well. Yeah. So possibly for now, bear with this. Bear with this situation, although it hurts. Although that ending stings. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, your approach, uh, taking it on the logical sense, it's good. But also don't forget to do some um, self-caring kind of activities. Yeah, that can help you feel better, yeah? At least during this time frame, until the energy goes into that immediate future where you can both, um, you know, start to communicate and feel one another, that each each other are still each other's uh, um, tie, you know, soul tie. And both of you can talk that, yeah, we are still connected. We still feel this. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now moving on to Libra. Right, Libra. Oh, something good, something to look forward to. Libra, I feel that as of the moment you are focusing on yourself, your money, your stability, what is important for you, um, what makes you feel grounded. Yeah, this could also be you spending a lot of time with um, nature with your um, meditation schedule and things like that. But this is your grounding yourself, focusing on yourself and really starting to appreciate, yeah? Your good side, yeah? And that's the best thing you can do today, Libra. Um, with regards to this connection, I do see that you are hoping for better days. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you're already happy with where this connection is at right now, as opposed to where it was a few weeks ago or a few months ago. You feel that at least during this time, this connection is seeing some brighter days, yeah? There could be some communication, um, some flirting, some discussions, some teasing and all, but there is some reason for you to be happy. You see some reason to be happy in this connection. Mm -hmm. And you're pretty optimistic, yeah? You don't anymore hold any grudges or any suspicions and, and things like that. I feel that all your assumptions towards this person are gone. Um, whatever you have been um, assuming, concluding, yeah, without um, proof back then when you were trying to analyze, diagnose the situation, um, now I think all of those things are gone and now you are in a much better headspace and heart space Libra you have the Sun yeah that means bright sunny happy positive um, and looking forward even to a more fruitful outcome of whatever endeavor you're in now with regards to the person that you're dealing with um, Libra, this is someone who has been through a lot, not just with you in this connection, but it feels like through a lot in their life, in their own relationship history, yeah? But someone too who hasn't really given up on love. Yeah. And with you, it feels like even though they may appear right now as being detached or not open or they're probably holding back, 
they're probably not really trusting the situation that they have with you right now but a part of this person knows that if only they are given a clear sign from you that you can have a one try one last try in this connection it seems like you're the genie for this person you have granted this person's wish yeah because with you they know that you are like their star you are like their wish come true mm -hmm. they're happy with you they actually want to be with you this is someone who wants to be with you someone who wants to get your attention someone who wants to impress you yeah and they're trying their best however they do that i'm not sure <laughs> you tell me but um this is someone who is trying to show off in a good way you know at least you will see them in a different light you will see them in on high horse somehow there's something here that this person wants to prove or something maybe you know they want you to like them they want you to admire them in in some of their good side in some of their skills and assets uh yeah but i feel that during this time frame both of you would probably do a lot of internal work still you could still be available to one another in terms of communication and things like that but in terms of really opening up to how you feel expressing how you feel towards one another it's more like you're taking you're both taking this slow yeah and um, not really acting haphazardly but really getting down getting deeper into this understanding into how you truly feel that's you libra doing that really knowing how do you feel about the situation before you can act on it before you get back into this reconnecting lovingly and i feel that on your person's side they are also spending some time um they're also spending some time to understand and find out what's the best way for them to get their heart's desires. And that is possibly to get back together with you. Yeah. And I feel that things are changing. Yeah. Whatever you're feeling today may change tomorrow. But in a general sense, in this connection, things are changing. Yeah. Nothing is permanent. The wheel spins. And the more it spins that means your circumstances the way your dynamics would also change and that could introduce new positivity new things positive and negative of course yeah but it's how you manifest if you're manifesting good things you get positivity if you're manifesting not so good things you get those not so good things too yeah but in a general sense i see that things are going to get better in this situation yeah, things are going to get better. It's more about before you act towards someone or to, towards the external force. Um, I feel that you already know by now that do a check, a high hello within your heart first, within you, to see whether your mind and heart are in one agreement before you even reach out to others. And I feel that both of you are doing that. Yeah, Libra? Mm -hmm. but yeah this person wants you to admire them <laughs> okay now let's move on to Scorpio Scorpio, not so different from Libra. You see your positions. Or you could also be dealing with the Libra. <laughs> yeah, and you are on the other side here, and this is the Libra. Okay, but either way, this is general, so you take however that resonates on your side. So Scorpio, like I said, similar to Libra, you may be focusing on yourself right now and um, just being staying positive, staying happy mm -hmm. with whatever you have. For the most part, you're even doing a lot of, of self-care, self-love kind of activities, yeah? And you're 
just learning how to enjoy day by day yeah which is a really good approach especially during this time yeah with regards to the person that you're dealing with i feel that um scorpio you know you always have this um type of energy with the person that you're dealing with they always look up to you like you have this stardom quality you know when the when the person links to you or be with you they can immediately see especially in a partnership yeah especially if you are a partner they could immediately see the difference between you and them yeah and for the most part they could see that you are a star up there for them yeah that's usually the first impression that this person had with you um, but during this time frame, the way I see it is that um, this is someone who still believes that both of you belong to one another, who is not giving up. <laughs> yeah, who is not giving up, even though um, there may be, you know, if there's distance between the two of you or if you're not really together right now, this person may be showing you that everything is good in their life. Um, they are stable. They are happy without you. They can live without you. Um, and possibly there is that sense of holding back as well. But this is someone, um, a Scorpio, like I said, who hasn't given up on the situation. They still hope that this would continue. Yeah, They're still holding on to this too tightly. And you know what? In the immediate future, I see that things are going to get better. Things are changing. Yeah. In your dynamic with one another, that would also change. If you haven't been talking, that will change to more talks, more chats. If um, you blocked one another, well, there's going to be unblocking of any someone. If there's going to be too much focus of oneself, now, um, I feel that in the immediate future, that would change. You would learn to consider another being beside you or next to you or someone that you can communicate with. So there's that type of changes. Specifically, in this connection, things are going to get better that would actually bring about a reunion for both of you. Yeah? All right, Scorpio. Now, moving on to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> okay, don't worry. Um, Sagittarius it's a temporary approach I feel that um, Sagittarius there is this connection that you really want to work out yeah with a certain person you want to work out you want to if, if there's been some arguments or indifference between the two of you you really want to work out you really want to work things out you have shown several times that you want this yeah you want to work out with this person because you feel supported with this person and you feel as though this is a person that you can build your home with mm -hmm. um, but i do sense that probably you are not explicitly telling this person now you're not saying it yeah you're not being honest to to your person in the sense of what you truly want what you truly feel it feels like you are trying to ignore or close an, uh, um, or have a blind eye or, or close one eye to a situation when you think it doesn't work for both of you. But part of you is still not very happy of what's going on. Yeah. Or for some, this is you, that there's been, you know, distance. You're not talking. You're not uh, being with one another. And it feels like you still want to work things out. But since you are not talking, you're probably just checking on this person, keeping tabs on this person secretly. Mm -hmm. Not directly getting information from them, possibly through social media, through your friends, common friends, and all that. 
or social media accounts of your common friends yeah to see whether the person is going out or not or something like that there's this distance uh, monitoring now with regards to your person this person knows that they have to make uh, some sort of decision with regards to this relationship or connection that you have but they are not really focusing on it it feels like they know that there is that burden that needs to be um broken down that needs to be um, talked about but as of the moment this person is not really focusing much on that they are not also stressing about it that's the difference here for the most part this is someone who's just going through their life um, quietly and um, peacefully they want peace so they know that you are part of their life right now but if you create chaos if you create problems they're not going to give much attention to that. They would continue to go on their way. So if it, there's this sense of, of um, you have this feeling with this person, Sagittarius, that you need to be uh, following or you need to be abiding by this person's interest and, and desires in order for you to be part of their life. You have that sort of feeling, you know. That's what I feel here for you. But you're dealing with someone who could be headstrong, yeah, in a good way. Yeah, they don't want chaos. I mean, that's a very simple request, right? They don't want chaos. They don't want arguments. They don't want um, miscommunications and things like that. But something here, the elephant in the room, there needs to be some form of decision making. Something needs to be decided, but your person is not facing that out, is not really opening up to making some sort of decision but they're just going smoothly with their life or trying to. Mm -hmm. They don't want um, arguments or confrontation even. Now, one reason too why this person doesn't want confrontation or arguments because they just want to have fun. They want to be able to have fun in every single moment, whether it be with you, with others, with their life. So simply put, this is someone who wants to enjoy life yeah but you have the pentacle here so it feels like there is some sort of burden that you are carrying or there is some heaviness on your side Sagittarius or probably some form of heaviness that you put on the table and your person is not able to address that or not able to work it out with you or agree get a common ground with you on that and that is probably something that needs to be talked about because something is pretty heavy it needs to be talked, but the other person is not willing to talk about it. Instead, they just want to have fun and just enjoy life, which, you know, no judgment. Everybody wants to have fun. Yeah. So if you have some heaviness here, it's on you, Sagittarius, because your person doesn't seem to be very um, focused on dealing with heavy stuff or focused in dealing with people who would hold them back or, or something like that. There is some sense of a pull. Yeah? Somebody here feels like they're being dragged down. Okay? Um, well, in the immediate future, I see that somebody will be offering some form of an apology. Mm -hmm. Or an openness, emotional openness. And I feel it's you, Sagittarius. I don't know what you have done to this person, but I feel that you're, you're probably be moving forward and express to this person what you want, what you feel, how you feel about things and, and something like that. You probably want to talk about it, but there is an action here that will, you know, you, you want to start it. You want to keep things moving. Yeah, but I do feel that, um, well, that's, that's a good approach. That's a good approach. And I feel that your person would also be um, open to listen to what you have to say. But at the same time, if this has been going on for quite a while, your person would listen to you, but they might feel that, okay, this is just another patch up and then we will fight once again. Something like that. So... They may hear you, but they would continue still to do it their own way. 
So I'm not sure if you're kind of happy with that type of situation. Because ultimately, you would feel like you're not being heard in this situation, Sagittarius. And is that something that you want? Yeah. That's what I see. Moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, wow. Wow, Capricorn, are you dealing with a Libra? <laughs> you have a justice and the Empress. Nothing less than that, huh? Okay. So, Capricorn, it feels like um, there's something here that um, you want to accomplish. You want to be able to open up to someone. You want to be able to to be in this person's good graces once again because you know you were in in this situation um this person has uh, nurtured you this person has has loved you has has been sensual to you has been sexual to you and all that there's this is a whole package this is the divine feminine that you probably have um have felt yeah or this could also be you yeah but I feel that there is something here that you are um, making a decision on, and that is to proceed in good faith to grow and expand with this person that you are thinking about. Because you know that um, the potential for, for expansion, the potential for future happiness is there. And the potential that you will feel loved in this situation is also big. Mm -hmm. You feel that this is the best option. That's what I feel. <laughs> yeah, or the best choice there is for you. Now, the person that you're dealing with, it feels like they are... Um, or for some of you, before we proceed to your person, for some of you, Capricorn, this is you uh, just wanting to do the right thing as well. Yeah, for a connection. And um, what you truly want is a connection that truly uh, could give you that abundance that you want, the, um, the comfort that you want, yeah? The person that you're dealing with, it feels like they are feeling down low. This is someone who feels like you don't want them, you don't like them, you don't, they don't, um, they're not attractive enough for you, yeah? It feels like that. Or for some, this could likely be someone who has some problems financially where they are not able to give anything beyond the usual discussion of, you know, where to get money for food and things like that. The concentration is too zoomed into necessities rather than talking about creative stuff or, of course, survival requirements are, are would come first, yeah? If that is, you know, if that is the case here if it is on the financial stuff. But um, energetically, I feel that this is someone who feels like you don't want them, you don't need them. And someone who is feeling lonely. Mm -hmm. What they really want from you is to be able to talk about this ending you know, to at least have a proper closure to it, a discussion, yeah. Because anyway, that cycle is over. I feel that you have already gone past a certain level of that ending, and this could be the remnants of it, yeah. Until now, you get to a point where you now decided that, yeah, you want this, you still want this. But um, your person wants to really have a talk about that uh, closure, about the ending of a past cycle that you both have. Yeah. Because that could actually give them more clarity. That could actually give this person more... Um, to clear out the bitterness that they probably have for this situation. 
Now, in the immediate future, I see that both of you will be busy with your individual self as well as if you have common goals, common activities together, you would probably be busy in that. And um, But that's a good thing. That's a good thing because the, the being busy with one another in terms of activities that could actually bring um, new vibes into your connection, especially after an ending. Yeah, especially after an ending because the last card you have here is the Queen of Wands. This is going for what you want, being fiery, being passionate with the things that you want. Yeah, and going for it. Yeah, being persuasive with your thoughts, with your actions. So from this a little bit or, or slightly um, indifferent uh, kind of dynamic that you, you have currently, I feel in the immediate future, the more you get to be involved in each other's lives and start working together or having some sort of routine discussions, calls, meetups and all, I feel that that could bring about what you both really want out of this connection. If it is reconciliation, you will get to talk about it. If it is um, just friends, you would also be able to talk about it. Yeah. I feel that, yeah, this, I think it would start off with this camaraderie that could bring, that could bring a rather active dynamic between the two of you rather than just be on separate corners. Yeah. This is, now, at least during this time frame, there is an energy of getting together, getting together, doing things together, talking about things, uh, talking about events, and slowly but surely the dynamic will improve. Okay? That's what I have for you, Capricorn. Now moving on to, what's next? Aquarius. Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, Aquarius. Hmm, that's beautiful. Okay, so Aquarius, in this situation, I feel that you are kind of not so bad at all. Not so bad. This is you kind of looking forward towards something or on something. Looking forward for a better tomorrow. Or possibly hopeful that tomorrow would be a better time. Mm -hmm. Because from where you're standing at right now, it feels like you already know what you need to know. Whether it be in this situation, in your life, whatever entanglements you may have been into. It feels like you already understood and you know where you stand. But you need to move from where you're at, right? To progress. You need to make a step forward. But to where? I feel that as of the present moment, you are um, wanting to be able to smoothly um, integrate yourself back to the world. You may have spent a lot of time being on your own, or there could have been a phase in your life where you had to, to be living a different type of life. I don't know what that means, but you know, you may be living a different, you may be omitting, or you may have lived in, in a situation that has not allowed you to be who you are for the past few years, for instance. But there seemed to be a, a phase that you're coming out from. I should just say maybe omitting or just another cycle in your life, personally. Yeah? Another cycle that you are coming out from. And, or for some, a very simple example is, you know, if you're in prison and then you're, it's time for you to go out, then it's another time for you to start integrating yourself with the community. So that's there's that sense of that here, that there's been a, a cycle that is about to close or finishing off. And from where you're standing at right now, you're looking forward and see where is a better tomorrow for you. Mm -hmm. 
and you're seeing what's the best approach you know to integrate back into life or to integrate back with the things that you want to do um in this love connection that you have i feel that you're also kind of at um you know you're also kind of deciding how to go about this or where is this you're kind of looking forward as well to be honest it's more like you kind of looking forward for a better tomorrow on this and it feels like you have been patiently waiting for things to be better for things to be um for the dynamic between you and this person to be more harmonious the person that you're dealing with i feel that Whoever made a mistake here or whoever wronged someone here, I feel that forgi uh, forgiveness has already been on the table, even if it hasn't been asked. So, for example, Aquarius, if you have, um, if you have wronged this person, for instance, without you having to explicitly say, I'm sorry, I feel that this person that you're dealing with has already forgiven you. You're dealing with someone who is pretty stable, um, stable with their life, able to, somebody who has their shit together, somebody who Who could be a good investor, uh, somebody who is a king of pentacles, yeah, let's just put it that way, and somebody who is kind. Mm -hmm. Because they're able to give you forgiveness even if you haven't asked for it. And also someone who is showing you that there's always that opportunity for a brand new start. For whatever cycle you're in in life. It could be about your love, about your work, about your family, about your business and things like that. So this is someone who is showing you that there's always that refresh vibe that you can bring to the table every single day. Yeah. Now... Um, With that, even if you are both in each other's space right now, you could probably be talking, there's communication between the two of you. But I feel that even if this person has forgiven you as well or has opened up to heal whatever has been broken in the situation, it's more about um, the dynamic that you have with one another is, is both coming from a logical stance. It's more about, well, now that you have forgiven one another, um, now there is that possibility to talk and be honest with one another, even as friends, even as colleagues, and that it's a brand new cycle. Yeah, a cycle of two friends being honest with one another. Yeah, two friends who are not lying to one another. And you'll see how it goes from there. Mm -hmm. In the immediate future, I feel that whatever is bound to happen in this situation with your current dynamic is bound to happen so with the choices that you made um aquarius and the person that you're dealing with the choices that you made in the past brought you to where you're both at right now and the choices that you make right now based on this having this brand new start whatever type of brand new start you are starting on that type of choice that you make in the immediate future, you will definitely get what you want. So if you choose right now to start as friends, then in the immediate future, you'll be friends. Yeah, not friends with benefits or not as a people or two people in a committed relationship. Yeah, but if you talk right now and talk about, about this situation, about this relationship that you want to start things off, then definitely that's what you're going to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what you're going to get. But it's, it's a very appro um, mature approach here, I say. I would say that um, every step of the way from today onwards, every um, decision that you both will make, I feel it will come from um from a space of a solid decision making or a well discerned kind of um decision you know because i feel that you aquarius you will do things 
based on what feels right and what you think is right at least in this situation and your person will also do the same thing okay now moving on to pisces all right pisces let's see what do we have for pisces All right, Pisces. Okay. Again. Um, all right, Pisces. Um, well, there's something here, Pisces, that you are still not letting go. You're still... Um, you're still holding on to. But nevertheless, this you holding on to this situation... It's more like you still want to keep on fighting as long as the fight is worth it. That's what I see. And you're actually fighting for a good amount of love. Um, for a, a connection that you feel that's meant for you. You're two of cups. That's what you're fighting for. So you would continue fighting as long as you know that this connection you have with someone is still in line with what you feel is your two of cups yeah the person that you're dealing with i feel that um this is someone who made a decision pisces they have made a decision to move forward they may have um been put in in a situation where they have two choices in life but this time i feel that they have shown you that they have made a decision or that they are moving forward, whether with you or without you. But this is a person who is pretty confident that um, they have made a decision and then they would move things forward. They would go that in one direction, in a certain direction that they have chosen. Yeah. And they are on, they're happy about it. That's what they are showing you. But somehow I feel that deep inside, this someone wants to reach out to you to say something to you. It's more about, I don't know, maybe somebody who wants to ask for an apology or to offer you a little bit of of that emotional um, discussion that you both need. But there's something here that despite the fact that they have moved forward in a certain direction, um, that is how they are showing you that they are good with that choice that they make. But deep in their heart, this is someone who wants to approach you. Someone who wants to tell you something. Someone who wants to apologize. Someone who wants to make an offer. Yeah? Hmm. Another message I'm getting, Pisces, is that um, this is someone that as of the current moment has made a decision to approach you for whatever this means. Yeah, and this is someone that you see as your two of cups. This is someone that you want to be partnered with. But um, one moment they may have shown you that they have detached from you. Yeah, they have um, shown you that they have, they are no longer invested in this emotionally with you. But at some point, I feel that there is this um, sense of wanting to make an offer now, wanting to make an apology. It's really repeating apology because partly so, if this someone has actually chosen a different path from you, Pisces, that's why you keep on fighting that you want to get this Two of Cups because maybe they have chosen a different route. Um, this person has had a lot of, of um, experiences in the past. Yeah, whether it be with you, the past with you, or just their past history of relationship. And I feel that um, uh, with all the experiences that they've had, um, 
with you Pisces when they look at you they know that once they start something off yeah it could um, it is as if that they are leaving all the pain all the the difficulties that they have in the past it is it feels like that yeah because of possibly because of your nurturing ability possibly because of of that sense that you see them eye to eye you see them in in that you are able to see them from that aspect yeah you know them um better than i don't know maybe better than they know themselves there is that energy there yeah for this person and I do can see that as of the, um, at, at least even in the immediate future, there's not going to be a lot of emotional fights between the two of you because somebody here will retract their emotional investment. And I feel it's you. I feel that you would take back your, your emotional investment into this connection. You may decide to stop thinking, to stop talking about this person altogether, yeah, until they come correct, yeah. Because for now, you can sense that at some point, this person hasn't really blocked you, but they are keeping their distance. Yeah, they're keeping their distance. But a part of you also is telling that you can feel that this person is still very much connected to you. Yeah. And why is that? It's because this person wants to make an offer, wants to, let's say, and apologize to you, but they haven't done it yet. Okay. But I do see in your immediate future, you might likely step back and pull away your your expectation, your emotional investments from this connection, at least, you know, in, in the immediate future. And once you do that, once you do that, I feel you will be in a position that you will sit and wait for this person to come to you and tell you honestly what they want to ask forgiveness on, what they want to tell you. This is you now going to be sitting on your throne. This is in your immediate future, Pisces. That once you pull back your energy, I think you will be pulling back your power as well and bringing that power back to ground you. Yeah. And the only way this person can come back to you is for them to come correct, is for them to come to you and tell you exactly what you want or what you need to hear. Yeah. There's no more that overly um, understanding Pisces, yeah, that so-called type of very nurturing that they can only come in and out. I feel that once by the time you pull back your energy from this connection, the only way this person can come back to you is when they come correct, is when they come with their authentic self and present to you what do they truly want. And that's a very strong stance given that after all, this is the love of your life. Yeah. But this is something that we have to see in the next few um, weeks, days or weeks. This is something that we need to see. And this is also depending, Pisces, on what are you going to do? What are you going to do from this day onwards? Yeah. Or when you are going to take that free will to pull back your energy from this connection. Mm-hmm. I feel you will do that when you can sense that this person is truly out of your grasp, when they have moved um, moved forward into a direction that is too far from you, yeah, or that you it's already beyond your grasp, okay? But deep inside, they want to give you some, some offer here. They want to tell you something, but maybe not today, yeah? But I feel it's more about you taking back your power and see when this person gets back okay that is for pisces now um for the last um reading we will do for the collective all right but before we start the collective reading um just a few announcements um the schedule for my weekly readings for all the signs it will be two signs from mondays to saturdays so you check out the sign the schedule in my website in the about page or i have also posted it in the community tab and um thank you for your continued support and for watching the videos and um i do um i do the weeklies and the monthlies as well so 
I hope you guys would enjoy them. And um, if, if you feel that it is helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as share it with um, your friends and family. Okay, and also if you want to connect with me via socials, the link to my um, the links to my social accounts they are in the description box below, um, Instagram, um, Facebook, and Twitter. So all all those are in the description box. Let, let's connect. And finally, you can do a free sign up to my website, and um, more news coming your way. Um, I'm really finishing this soon, so I'm pretty excited to announce something soon. All right, so I hope you, we can we can continue to connect in that level. So just um, follow me in socials. And finally, thank you everybody for your continued support. I appreciate you all. Now let's do your collective reading. What's the general energy we could get from er for everybody in the room? A general energy, please. In love. I love it. Collective, I think this is a very straightforward reading. For some of you, you're getting married. You're getting proposed and um, you're going to be making a decision to tie the knot. You're not going to be making a decision to move in together. Yeah, or for some of you, you're going to be making a decision that you want this connection. You want this partnership. You want this commitment and you want to commit to it. You want to ink it up. You want to sign it. Something like that. Okay, um, for some, this is uh, mainly that you still want this connection and you're wanting to make things right. Yeah, whatever that needs to be righted here, you want to do it. Yeah, the person that you're dealing with, by the way, is not so much different from you. This is someone who is pretty putting themselves open, yeah, to any possible um, emotional offer. Um, if you're the feminine, this is someone who is learning to open up to you emotionally. This is someone who is open. If, if this is, if you're dealing with someone who has been closed off, this is them now learning to open up to you slowly, but surely on an emotional level, you will see that change. Yeah. Um, change for the better. If that is something that you're wanting. And at the same time, they may not show you how much invested they are in this connection. They may show you that, you know, um, they have a lot of things in mind. They're doing a lot of things in their life, yada, yada, yada. But you know what? They are expectantly waiting for you. <laughs> they may just turn their back, yeah, because that position hurts. <laughs> but they are, they are waiting for you. Yeah. If they have set forth a lot of ships to um to the seas yeah the ship that they had you on is the ship that they are hoping to come back soon yeah why is that because there is love here you make them happy yeah you make this person happy you make this person happy but i feel that a part of you also could um appear to this person as a very headstrong kind of person and that probably um would have been the reason why they are not really pushing as hard as they could. Um, possibly waiting expectantly from a distance would be a safer route, at least for now, until they get uh, you know good bearings of where where they're at, and good bearings as to where you are at when they can see a better view as to um, where or how the collective is feeling towards them. Yeah, but. For them, they know that they want this, they want this love, they want to get this. They want to be with you. Yeah. In the immediate future, I still see that there is that bit of detachment still. You will not be opening up. Like I said, this person is slowly, like, kind of opening up, but not 100%. But there's that opening. Yeah. But there's still that sense of um, not really talking much about emotional 
issues or emotional topics between the two of you. It's more about um, looking forward on, on the day-to-day, -day, on your day-to-day -day interactions, rather than looking back about the emotional entanglements or the emotional pain that you both have caused one another in the past. So this is a very transitory kind of energy where um, two people are learning to live day by day, learning to exchange this energy with one another day by day. One is really wanting this commitment with the other person. The other person is slowly opening up emotionally, opening back up to this person, but not fully quite yet. You know, that's the energy. Even though there is so much love for this person to you or for you, there is not much of um, like opening up in terms of digging about the past. But what I do see is that um, the more you carry on on the day-to-day -day basis with this um, like, you know, little loving exchanges on a day-to-day -day basis that could actually bring more confidence, more courage, and more strength for you and for your person to somehow come to a place or to somehow come to that point where they are able to express how they truly feel confidently. Yeah, confidently. I see that this could be after some sort of a breakup or something, some, some ending, and you know there could have been a space there or a time that has passed in between. And then now, you know, getting back with one another can be sort of an adjustment phase as well. And this is what I see. You, I can see that both of you are wanting to be one, with one another, but there's that um, oiling, you know, or bending or molding a little bit of here and there until you get to a phase of really meeting each other confidently and be able to speak your your um, feelings or, you know, your intentions towards one another. Once you are at that place where you have that inner strength and inner confidence to really speak up what you think is, is, is good to share with someone. Yeah. And that usually talks about words from the heart. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for your collective. Um, I hope this gives you insights. By the way, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And um, for those of you who are joining me live, thank you so much. And I truly appreciate you all. Okay. And thank you. Happy chatting. And I enjoy this time with you. I love you all. Bye now.